Okay, so we're now here next to this crop of Dunstan to have a look at how some of the current chemistry and new chemistry performs when under particularly extreme yellow rust pressure. Now we know 2020 has been a year where yellow rust has been the, a main feature of the season in terms of disease. And you can see this Dunstan here is completely riddled with yellow rust. So what I'll do now is have a look at each plot with some different treatments and talk through how they're looking and how they perform on yellow rust. Okay, so the four programmes that I'm going to show you today have all had the same standard T0 and T3 fungicides. So T0 was 100 grams of tebuconazole and the T3 was a litre of firefly. Okay, so this first plot we're going to look at here has had 0.8 litres per hectare of aviator at T1 followed by a litre of ascar at T2. So a kind of programme that you'd probably apply to a slightly lower um, disease pressure crop. Um, so if we have a look at the actual pressure, you can see here, um, there is a little bit of yellow rust in there, but significantly less compared to that Dunstan that was completely riddled with it. Okay, so this second programme here is um, a litre of ascar at T1, followed again by a litre of ascar at T2. So the only change there is we've spent a little bit more at that T1 and yeah, we'll have a look and see what effect that's had on the yellow rust. So you can actually see that yeah, there is actually again still a little bit in there, but it's much improved compared to that previous programme. So it's sort of step on in control there for still a pretty decent value programme. Okay, so this third treatment here has had a application of Iblon in it, which is our new SDHI chemistry. And it's quite clear to see that not only is it excellent on Septoria, but it's also excellent on yellow rust. And you can see again, a good step up and improvement here in control of yellow rust. Okay, so the last treatment that I want to show you is actually a non-Bayer program. Um, so this has had two applications of Revastar, both at T1 and T2. And if we have a look at the plot, you can see that um, there's a lot of yellow rust in there. And while we know that Revastar is a particularly strong chemistry on Septoria, it clearly has a weakness here on yellow rust.